All right, these ratings, Dave. Collision did not do well at all. Collision did not do well at all. And uh, a lot of these Would... shows, Raw did not do well at all. Oh, I thought Raw SmackDown did great. I thought I thought Raw did great considering the night, July the 3rd. I thought the number was great. Not even good. Um, I mean, they were way down in 18 to 49s, but they're going to be. This is, you know, everything in TV was down this week. Um, I mean, I would suspect that, that Raw will be the highest rated show on cable this week. Um, you know, one of the things is is that you got to put everything into perspective based on, like, the week and everything. Like, like on Wednesday when AEW did the 0.24, I thought, oh, my God, it's terrible and all this. And it, as it turns out... They finished higher in the standings than they finished in months. You know, they were um, they were fourth in entertainment for the week, and really, you know, you could argue third because the show that beat them um, in that spot it had, uh, which was um, what was the Real Housewife, one of the Real Housewife shows there on Wednesday. It had um, what was it? Uh, I think it was. 4,000 more viewers, but it was in 2 million more homes. So on an actual real ratings percentage, um, Dynamite actually beat them, you know? So the only shows Dynamite for the whole week in entertainment didn't beat were, were Raw, obviously, which did phenomenal um, last week. And um, what was the other one? There was a, a um, 90 Day Fiance episode that did a point two eight, which was number two. And I mean, if you look at some of the, you know, a lot of nights like point sixteen, point fifteen, we're leading the we're leading the night. I mean, the reality is is that there were not a lot of people watching television this week, across the board. And um, SmackDown was the number two show on all of network television, uh, and number three overall because number one would have been the uh, the finals of the little of the uh, little league of the College World Series a week ago Monday was number one. On all of television, number two was na was a NASCAR race, which barely beat SmackDown, which was number three. And then um, on cable, you know, Raw was behind only the College Baseball World Series for second place. And um, in sports, if you're going to – well, overall, it doesn't have to even be sports. Um, the, uh, you know, AEW was uh, – Dynamite was ninth for the week, and two of the shows that were ahead of it were – I'd have it by like a couple thousand, and they were in a lot more homes. And, you know, I mean, as far as they're on on stations and with a lot more homes, so percentage wise, really they were seventh for the week. So, and they and they have they've been never been as high as seventh in months and months. So it's just a the deal is is that television viewing was way down, which I guess is the explanation as to why you know one of the it is the explanation as to why Wednesday was down. Now Saturday ramp you know um, collision. That was a bad number. I mean, even though, again, um, number, I think, um, well, I mean, it was behind a couple of things. I, I mean, I'd have to check my notes, but I know they were they were behind UFC. It was the first time that they went head-to-head -head with UFC, and they got uh, killed by UFC. Um, and um, I think there was one other show that they were behind um, on, uh, on, on Saturday. But... Um, yeah, they did an 0 0.13, 452,000 viewers, essentially almost an identical rating to Rampage. So that's not good. And that is, I mean, Rampage had a better lead in, which was probably, you know, helped them somewhat. Um, Collision didn't have any kind of lead in at all. But yeah, big, big, big drop in week three for Collision. And, uh, you know, I mean, again, it's it's it was a bad weekend for TV viewing, but that was a scary drop. Um, you know, I mean... Uh, you know, again, I think next week's going to be real interesting because you got Punk and Samoa Joe, and um, and that will, you know, I think be a better gauge as to where the show is. But uh, yeah, the collision number was uh, not a good sign at all. So um, that was the situation there. So any thoughts before I get to my notes on all this stuff? Well, I mean, obviously, uh, I think this is lower than what it's going to settle in at. I think that uh, you had the holiday weekend, you had the uh, WWE pay-per-view, which I still think a lot of people watched on delay, and uh, and it's a Saturday night. I mean, it's a well, it's always going to be Saturday night, and there's always going to be a, there's always going to be a UFC. And UFC did UFC is uh, probably not going to help, but um, UFC this week's going to be um, 
UFC is going to be even tougher this week because UFC is going to be on both ABC and ESPN, and it's the prelims to a pay per view, and it's Robbie Lawler's retirement fight. So they're. Um, I think the UFC is going to hurt Collision, but I think that the weekends that there is a WWE pay per view are going to be the real rough. Well, well, when, when they have the WWE pay per view head to head, and and even not, you know what I mean? Realistically, the idea that uh, WWE, if you're going to watch, um, you know, three hours, three and a half hours of a WWE pay per view. You're probably not going to rush back, even if it's, you know, rush back and, and want to watch another show, especially on a weekend, you know, on a holiday weekend. So I do think that the WWE show, even though it wasn't head to head and it was hours earlier, I do think it probably hurt a little bit. Um, but, you know, even all those things, you know, the fact is, is when they have a week and they will have them, you know, I mean, just wait until uh, August 5th when they go in SummerSlam and uh, UFC, you know what I mean? I mean, it's like, that's going to be a real tough week to draw. Um, but, um, yeah, they uh, – I'm trying to think what other, what other, what other stuff was that they were um, – yeah, as far as the quarters, the, the, the thing with Collision was is that um, they started um, at a very, very low number. So it was not like – it was not like the show – like when I first saw the number, I thought, oh, God, it was, you know, it was dead crowd in Hamilton – it was not a really exciting show to watch. Not that the matches were that bad, but the crowd was so dead that it really hurt the atmosphere. But that really wasn't, it really wasn't a deal where they lost viewers. I mean, they were pretty steady uh, for the whole two hours um, at a low number. I mean, they opened, they opened essentially where they averaged and they kind of stayed there. I mean, there were little ups and downs, but it was not, um, you know, it was not people tuning out. It was people did not tune in in the first place. Actually, a lot so, of shows were like that this week because because Raw Raw was pretty steady. Raw was pretty uh, steady it was like, too. It wasn't quite a straight line, but it was very very steady. Except that Natty Rhea match, the Natty which, Rhea which uh, bumped up to two million viewers. That was the high point of the show. Almost almost two million. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think it was one point nine million, but yeah, Natty one point nine uh, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One million nine hundred fifty thousand. Yeah, um, yeah. That was a big success. Um, and and late in the show it was like 10 15 10 10 10 15 so um it wasn't it wasn't even in a, like the prime slot i mean your prime slot really for raw especially now would probably be around nine o'clock because a lot of people tune in late but um you know especially on a holiday you know on a, on a, a holiday week um you know during the summer and everything it's going to be it's going to be like that people will, will start tuning in late but uh, ten fifteen is usually not the high point, or ten ten. Um, but yeah, so um, I, you know they were not put in this. You know, um, uh, collision was not put out there to do an zero point one three. Um, I don't think. I don't think that's what they were uh, expecting going in. But it is a weird week. But there's going to be a lot of harder weeks than this too. And they were down. You know, I mean, it was. The other thing is, is where they were down is they were down in younger viewers, not in older viewers. I mean, well, they were down every across the board, but but they were down fifty nine percent from the week before in eighteen to thirty four, and the week before was a pretty substantial drop from week one. You know, week one they were doing dynamite numbers, and week three they're doing rampage numbers. So um, that's a pretty damn big drop. They had eleven thousand viewers in men eighteen to thirty four. That's a absolutely eleven thousand viewers nationally in 1834 and dynamite routinely tops 100,000 so that tells you you know um but i mean yeah they were very very low they were down 82% um in 1834 the other they were down across the board but that was a incredibly down number yeah they opened um you know they opened essentially with the um MJF and Ethan Page um and the MJF and um Kip Morst you know, around 473,000 viewers. So, um, yeah, a um, that was, uh, and then the uh, they ended with Joe and Roderick Strong at 430,000 viewers. But um, a little bit, actually, um, but they were a little bit up in 18 to 34 from the start. So, um, yeah, that was the thing. So as far as uh, you know, other, I mean, wrestling, you know, WWE just did great compared to everything else. Um, you know, the um, Dynamite, I mean, there was, you know, the um, Dynamite was uh, sixth of all shows on cable in 18 to 34, ninth in 18 to 49, you know, or seventh, actually, in a lot of ways. Raw was 
second in both um and um that was like uh pretty much the the key stuff um yeah i mean like raw actually second place 90 day fiance as far as in entertainment raw doubled them and on friday smackdown with 0.69 which was an incredible number they actually tripled the second place shows which were 0.23s so um it's it, the story is is that wwe numbers were uh tremendous and television is way 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 down um you know i think that the uh i would presume you know we don't have the numbers for um nxt yet but um i will presume on july the 4th that that did not do particularly i strong. would think that that probably didn't do very well that night no july 4th is, is is one of the worst days um in fact it can be the worst day of the year you know the really bad days are christmas eve and july the 4th historically for wrestling thanksgiving is probably a bad day as well but it's always a thursday which means the only people that it, it you know affects or impact in new japan you know but uh, july the 4th you know it can affect anyone because it can be on different days of the week and next year it'll be uh, on a wednesday i believe um but um yeah so raw ended up at um was it one million eight hundred twenty eight thousand viewers which is the same as two weeks ago um with a holiday i mean i think that the total number was very good the 18 to 49 number was a 0.49 and that is one of the lower numbers of the year but you know the date and everything like that i would have i would have pretty much expected that and um, yeah they they did not you know they started essentially they basically you know did not have a big drop which of course historically you know raw has huge drops during the show so um the people who, you know, I mean, some of its people came in late, which we'd expect on July the 3rd. And so they didn't go down nearly as much. Um, Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.